Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Don't look at the crust on the wig. I'm looking crusty, dusty, rusty. I just want to do this little small intro to let you guys know that it is officially Taysimber. Officially Taysimber, which means we about to go crazy. Because the way these few days, weeks been set up, it's been a hot mess. We're going to try our very best to go hard this month of December, this month of Taysimber. Um, there's a lot in store. There's a lot planned. Um, so stay tuned. I just want to tell you guys before we get into this vlog, um, this vlog is kind of jumbled and mixed up. It's from previous two weeks. So there's a lot of stuff happening and a lot of stuff chopped up. But still watch it and enjoy it because there's a lot of a lot of valuable information in this vlog about my life right now. But other than that, also, I do not have an official Taste Ember intro yet but we're gonna recycle a video that you guys have never seen and this is gonna be my taste number intro for now so yes without further ado here is my 2021 taste number intro hope you guys enjoy and let's get it a month of heat a month of new life a month of new beginnings a month of fresh start a month of blessings. Got my package. I got the goods. It felt so weird pulling up to the house. Like it felt like I still live there. And then on the total blinds all up, them blinds was ripped up like a cat got to it. All the blinds. How'd that happen? Or whatever. I will show y'all what I got. Should I show y'all what I got? I should show y'all what I got. Oh my gosh, these are my toms. I'm so excited to wear them. I don't know what color this is or like, yeah, but these are the women's gray toms in a size seven and a half. And I'm excited to wear them. I just want you to know, your kid is greedy. He want all the food I got on my plate. Hey, hey. Instead of eating his food on his plate. I haven't vlogged all day today, but was that an invite for him as well to go to the game? Oh yeah, hey, Tom. Um, so we are at Milk and Honey. I'll show y'all my food. But, no, you don't. Now we're about to go. Well, I gotta get Kari, then go home, just watch, take a shower, yeah, then go to the game. So yeah. Update 
the weekend has went by and I have not vlogged whatsoever. Life really happened this weekend, okay? So I'm just gonna recap y'all and tell y'all everything that happened. For starters, I got into another car accident. This time, there's actual damage. Let me just tell you what happened, okay? So, what was this? Saturday? Was this Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. And I also have an Ulta haul. And I have a, hair, a mask in my hair, but let me just tell the story real quick. Went to Cycle Bar, you know, we went for our normal Saturday cycle class. We left the Cycle Bar and we went to Milk and Honey, which is really, really, really good. We left Milk and Honey. And as I was leaving, this freaking lady ran the stop sign and just about T-boned me. How do you not see a big old black old long car how do you not see a stop sign? I mean, I know people do it, but like, girl, you need your license revoked. So she ran the stop sign and hit me. And then she got out the car and she was confused. She didn't know what to do. The first thing she said was like, girl, I'm so sorry for hitting your car. I'm so sorry. What are we supposed to do, call our parents? Girl, no, call the police. What do you mean call your parents? Call your parents after you call the police. So I was like, you know what, I'll do it. She didn't want me to call the police for reasons I'm not gonna say on the internet, but I called the police anyways. And the police came. I had Jamani, homegirl, on the phone. Jamani was telling me to tell the police, er police everything. But I was like, you know, that ain't none of my business, that ain't none of my concern. So I'm just gonna tell them what happened and that's just it. My best friend's a police officer. So she was basically, every time I get into a car accident or every time something happened, I call Jamani. Jamani was like, you need to get pictures of everything, the life of plate, the car, the blah, blah. And I'm just like, I'm so mad at this point. I wasn't even thinking about that. I wouldn't even think about pulling my phone out to show what happened. Car could have been totaled, you know, I could have been hurt, but I'm not. So that's just, that's just how I need to think about it and just not be upset. But yeah, this is her car. Let me show you guys her car. And this is my car. And I'm gonna show you guys the stop sign she ran. And the street I was on, there was no stop sign. She clearly ran and hit me. And yeah, that's what happened. Luckily, I didn't have the kids with me. Praise God, because then I went back to my granny house and I was like, somebody just hit me and like, it's not bad, but it's scraped up. But her car, tow up. So then I left them there at my granny house, went back home, cleaned up, came back down to my granny house to go to the basketball game. And my granny was like, no, Kari needs to stay here because he's sick and blah, blah, blah. So he stayed there. Me and Taj went to the basketball game. Then I went back and picked him up. <laughs> then we came back home and the rest is history. So yeah, that's all that happened yesterday, literally. I had them all day, Friday and Saturday. And then they went home today, this morning. Right after that, I had to go run errands. I had to go to Target, Publix, get gas, two different Ulta's. So yeah. And then tomorrow, I get my wisdom teeth out. So I've been whipping and running all day, clean my room. So I won't have to worry about it for a week. And I still have to eat before 12 o'clock, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got real quick from Ulta. To start with the haul, I'm gonna show you, I got a lot of stuff from Target, uh, like food wise um, and like household things, but they're already put away. So I'm not gonna show you that. From Ulta, I got the First Aid Beauty gift set for myself, of course because I really, really love the um, Ultra Repair Cream. This repair cream is so freaking good. Like, I got this for $49 and it has the bigger one in here. There's a bigger one than this, but this one was bigger than the one I had. This is the KP Bomb Eraser Body Scrub. If you guys don't know, KP is Keratosis Polaris, which I'm pretty sure I have on my legs. Then also in here, we got the Eye Duty Niacinamide Brightening Cream, which I'm excited to use this too. Then we also got the Facial Radiance Pads. These help to exfoliate, tone, and brighten. And I like how everything comes sealed. So you know your products aren't being like tampered with. None of this stuff has a smell, by the way. And this is the 
face cleanser which i'm not sure if i'm going to use this just right off the bat because my skin is so sensitive like i can't be putting everything on my face because i will wake up with a thousand bumps on my face i also got taja some things for her birthday um by the time she sees this it'll be after her birthday so i'm just gonna show y'all so i got her this camille rose um sweet ginger cleansing rinse i have this and i really really like it but taja does not have this one so i bought her this one so she can try it hopefully she likes it i bought taja the yerba matte wake up eye gel because um she said something about she needed some eye cream i also got her this Burt's bees kit because taja always had Burt's bees and she always be trying to find her chapstick and she always was on her chapstick and her lip balm so i got her one of these these uh scrunchies for curly hair and i got her this curl maker gel which i freaking love this is my favorite product by not my, my this is my top favorites by camille rose and it's expensive too this was like freaking 20 something dollars but i got it for her to try hopefully she likes it because i love it i can rave all day about this product i also got her these scrunchies um these are the type where you can like wrap it around and then tie it so i got her those if she wanted to do like a pineapple or something like that working out or she don't want to crease her hair got her those lastly i got her this calendulia deep cleansing foaming face wash by kiehl's kiehl's I've heard a lot of good things about this brand, but I haven't personally tried anything from this brand. Um, it was on sale for $15, so I got it. Luckily, I got the same thing. So I got me one too, and I'm gonna use this tonight and on my face. I also got a deep treatment mask by Main Choice, which I really, really love. And this is the treatment that's in my hair. I also bought this. I ran out and I had to get another one because I can also rip back this product all day long. I also got like a bunch of nails, press on nails because y'all, I just be breaking them and popping them off. So I thought I'm only gonna get my nails done for a special occasion and I could just put these press ons on because they last a long time. A little simple manicure set. These are the medium length, but got these. And then I also got these stickers, which I'm gonna do tonight. I've never done these before, but this is what they look like. Um, you literally just put them on and they last for 14 days. So I'm gonna put these on tonight and then I got some for the toes and I'm gonna see how these work. I'm gonna put these on my toes too. I got the Moon toothpaste and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this works. And then I also got the toothbrushes because they were on sale. So then I also got myself some of these scrunchies because I just could not get Tasha some and I get myself some. So look how cute. This is so stinking cute and it smells so stinking good. Mm. Oh, why did I just do that? I got this one. That is all y'all. That is all of my haul. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm putting my wisdom teeth in this video, maybe. I might. Um, Tasha's birthday is also coming up on Friday. I'm not gonna tell y'all what we're doing. I'm not gonna tell y'all. Y'all just gonna have to watch the vlog. I've really only been vlogging on my phone, but it hurts to talk, so I'm not gonna talk too much. That's why this vlog is very like sporadic and not really well thought out or planned. But I don't know if I told y'all, but I'm always teeth out on Monday. It is now Sunday. Ah, Sunday. And my mouth still hurts. I don't know who lied to me and said that it would be over in like three to five days. 
but they literally lied out the butthole because my mouth still hurts and it's really just this side that hurts really bad y'all i don't know if it's because they chipped the tooth back there but it's very sharp so it's like cutting my tongue literally like a few days ago i couldn't even eat or drink my tongue kept being cut by something sharp and i feel like they chipped my tooth back here so i have to go back to work tomorrow and i'm pretty sure i'm going to schedule a doctor's appointment for tomorrow because it shouldn't be like this. it should not feel like this black friday was a friday <laughs> sunday now and i majority shopped online because i've been in the bed because my freaking face hurts i also went to target and got some stuff so i'm gonna show y'all that um nothing special i bought me a water flosser which is i don't know how to that it because it's a lot it's a lot like a lot and let me show y'all this so, but I bought this because I need it. So, it's just a bucket. So, I can mop my bathroom. We got some bleach stuff and some wood stuff. And that's it. So, I'm about to clean my bathroom and I'll probably time lapse it so I can see clean. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. this video um but let me just tell y'all about me getting my wisdom teeth out it wasn't bad i'm not sure where all these like funny wisdom teeth videos come from but when i got my wisdom teeth out it was nothing of that sort I literally was like i got it walked up like got in the car went home ate and went to sleep literally slept for three days so Ask me what I did those three days. I do not remember. Slept those three days. I had zero pain the first three days. When we got to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that's when I started to get a toothache and a headache. And it's not even like it's excruciating pain because it's, it's not that. It's just, it's like annoying pain. I feel like my cheeks are still like, like stiff, I guess, because I just feel like I'm not talking how I would normally talk. I don't think it's numb, but it feels kind of numb. I don't know, maybe just because it's stiff or swollen or something of that nature. But that's just what's going on now. And I'm probably going to schedule an appointment tomorrow morning so they can look at this back one because I don't know if it's dry socket. I feel like I would know if it was dry socket because I'd be in pain. But they did something funky with this tooth back here. And I feel like they chipped my tooth because it's like gum and the tooth is like almost halfway gone. And it's really sharp, so it keeps cutting my, my tongue. It's just bad. But other than that, it hasn't been a week yet, but it'll be a week tomorrow. I'll just be happy when this is over and when this heals. Pray I don't have no dry socket or no infection or nothing like that because... Uh, 
I'm about to. It's Sunday, by the way. Yeah, I'm just been home in the bed. Uh, I did go to Target, and I did go to Tasha's birthday. Those were the only two places I've been, y'all. I've literally been in the bed watching Lifetime Christmas movies on YouTube and watching TikTok. I'm very sad I have to go back to work tomorrow because my face hurts. But it is what it is. Catch me in the next vlog, y'all. Oh, and also, apparently it looks like I lost weight, which I think I did because I don't remember my stomach being this flat. My stomach has not been this flat in I don't know how long. And then, like, flat booty again. I was on the road to Gaines, but since I've had my wisdom teeth out, I've lost weight because I haven't really been eating. And I felt like I slick got dehydrated because I wasn't drinking a lot of water. I wasn't getting a lot of fluids. But I'm starting to feel better. I'm going to like try to get up on my greens and stuff and my fluids. And try to get back get e eating and get back in my on my protein intake. Because I worked so hard this whole year to gain weight. And I lost weight again. So... But that is how life is going. Hope you guys are being safe, having a safe day and week and stuff. Hopefully y'all enjoyed y'all's Thanksgiving. My Thanksgiving was spent in the bed, literally all day. I was in the bed. I couldn't even eat the Thanksgiving food, y'all. I ate Thanksgiving the day after, really. And that's how life is going. That's how life went. So now I'm chilling. About to edit my video, take care of some business, eat my mac and cheese I got over here. But yeah, that's it. So see y'all later. I'm staying simple. I ain't never ever bugging. If I'm doing good, cool. I ain't never stunting. I keep it real. Fuck it, y'all know how I'm coming. So if I die, tell the government I seen it coming. <laughs>